Good morning, Mr. Smith. How are you feeling today? I'm Dr. Jawad. Earlier this year, a healthcare company Medical Realities announced their first product, the virtual surgeon. This is a tool allowing students wearing an Oculus Rift headset to watch a surgical procedure being carried out in real time. It puts people in the operating room where they can listen to surgeons as they not only teach, but show them the skills needed to become accomplished medical professionals. And as Steve Dan, co-founder of Medical Reality, says, VR footage can give trainee doctors information on all aspects of the process. We're filming actual live operations, but we're starting to put a lot, an awful lot of CGI overlay animation to actually help tell the story about uh, how the surgery should be going and also tell the actual the background story of the patient as well. So, there's, uh, so it's actually multi-layered virtual reality. It's a very intuitive way to teach new surgeons. Not only do they get to watch surgery as it happens, they can also get feedback. And considering that it can take up to 3,700 hours to train new surgeons, the virtual surgeon is a great way to streamline the process for teachers. 80 million people a year die because of uh, improper surgical intervention. So that's an awful lot of people. If we can actually sort of help get more surgeons trained more quickly, more efficiently, then that's actually going to save lives and that's something which is fantastic for us. Medical realities are pioneers in using VR as an educational tool. But they've also seen a wide range of applications for the tech that go beyond entertainment and education and could completely change the way that we look at the world. I think when we look into all the different sectors that virtual reality could make a difference in, there's a whole load of them. And it'll make, it'll make a difference in different ways for each sector. Um, obviously we're working in medicine, but also property, retail, entertainment, um, obviously military, training, um, that type of thing. I think it's, uh, you know, the, the list is probably pretty well endless actually, once you start uh, thinking about it.